A radio tower is located 425 feet from a building. From a window in the building, a person determines that the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 38 degrees, and that the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower is 30 degrees. How tall is the tower? So to set this up, this blue rectangle will be the building where the person is looking out the window at this location here. This red rectangle represents the tower, and because the tower is located 425 feet from the building, we know that this length here is 425 feet. This would also be the person's line of sight. Because the angle of elevation at the top of the tower is 38 degrees, this angle here would be 38 degrees, and the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower is 3 degrees, and therefore this angle here would be 30 degrees. Notice how we have two right triangles here, one above the line of sight and one below the line of sight. Our goal is to determine the height of the tower, which would be this length here. So looking at this lower right triangle, if we label the length of this leg here y sub one, then looking at the upper right triangle, if we label this leg y sub two, notice how the height of the tower would be equal to y sub one plus y sub two. And because we have two right triangles here, we can now use right triangle trigonometry to determine the length of y sub one and y sub two. So first looking at the lower right triangle, notice how if we know this angle here, y sub one will be the opposite side, and we also know the length of this leg, the adjacent side is 425 feet. So because we'll be using this angle and the opposite side and the adjacent side, we should recognize that we'll be using the tangent function to determine the length of y sub one. Looking at the upper right triangle, again if we use this angle, notice how y sub two is the opposite side, and we also know the adjacent side has a length of 425 feet. So in both cases, we'll be using the tangent function to determine y sub one and y sub two. So again, looking at the lower right triangle, we can see that the tangent of 30 degrees must be equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, or y sub one divided by 425 feet. Then looking at the upper right triangle, we can say that the tangent of 38 degrees is equal to, again, the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, or y sub two divided by 425 feet. Notice how in both cases, to solve for y sub one and y sub two, we would multiply both sides of the equation by 425. Looking at the right side, notice how this would simplify to one, and so would this. Therefore, y sub one is equal to 425 times tangent 30 degrees, and y sub two is equal to 425 times tangent 38 degrees. And again, because the height is equal to y sub one plus y sub two, we can say the height is equal to 425 tangent 30 degrees plus 425 tangent 38 degrees. And now we'll go to the calculator get an approximate height. The first thing we should do is check to make sure the calculator is in degree mode because our angles are in degrees. So we'll press the mode key, go down to the third row, highlight degree, press enter, go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit, and then we'll enter 425 tangent 30, plus 425 tangent 38 degrees. Enter. If we round to two decimal places, notice how the approximate height would be 577.42 feet.
I hope you found this helpful.